dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus I welcome all of you for this 31st ordinary Sunday a Roman Catholic nun who experienced the source of transformation in her life by which she transformed herself and transformed the entire society a Roman Catholic nun who was a teacher who was admitted in the school transformed herself and she transformed the entire society i hope all of you might have understood about who i am talking it is none other than saint teresa of calcutta she was a teacher and admitted of the school and this roman catholic nun identified the source of transformation that is jesus in her life and she transformed herself and transformed the entire society dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus today the gospel reading invites all of us to transform oneself and to transform the others it is not only for this single woman but for all of us jesus becomes the source of transformation jesus is ready to transform others because he himself is a source of transformation and that's what jesus was trying to do in his ministerial life very specially in those three years in the gospel reading also we find the same message today we all of us are called from the gospel reading to identify this source of transformation and to transform oneself and the others my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus when we see the story of Zacchaeus Zacchaeus was a tax collector and he was not well known he was not accepted by others according to the Jewish rabbinical teachings the tax collectors are, were not accepted accepted by others and they were Uh, known as robbers so here saki was spiritually sick and there was a emptiness in his heart so he was in need of somebody to transform and it was in that time he came to know about jesus it is therefore he was in search of the source of transformation called jesus now As he identified this source of transformation, Jesus transforms Zacchaeus. It was not only Zacchaeus searching for Jesus, but it was Jesus who came to Zacchaeus. It was Jesus who came there. He stood and looked up and called Zacchaeus. So Jesus transforms Zacchaeus, and he. he went with Zacchaeus to his house and there we see the transformation that was taking place in Zacchaeus he transformed himself and he started transforming others how he started sharing so my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus here we see three elements that Jesus is the source of transformation he transforms others and finally as we are transformed by jesus we are also called to transform others in the story of saint paul saint paul he was a persecutor of christians he was a strict observer of the law and as he was going to damascus this source of transformation jesus he comes there he transformed this saul into paul and as a transformation saint paul he started transforming the others the strict observer of the law became the preacher of the gospel the persecutor of christians he became the apostle of gentiles what a transformation because of the source of transformation and it was jesus who did this and in a life also is ready to do this and jesus 
he was trying to transform everybody. In the case of Samaritan women, the source of transformation transformed her. And she transformed herself and she was ready to transform others. It is therefore she was bringing the entire village to Jesus. Today, are we ready for it? Are we ready to, to identify this source of transformation in our life? You know, in order to identify this source of transformation, Sakius faced many obstacles. He was searching for Jesus. But on the way to his search for Jesus, he found many obstacles. First of all, he had physical obstacles. He was very short in stature. It is therefore he was not able to see Jesus. And he did not just left it out. He was trying to overcome these physical obstacles. Therefore, he climbed on the tree. And he was not accepted by others. They identified, they said that he is a robber. That was a mental obstacles that was there in his mind and heart. With that worry, with that sadness, he came out. And he was overcoming all those mental and psychological obstacles. And he had his obstacles from the society. When Jesus said, come on Zacchaeus, I am going to come to your house. There were many people who were murmuring. But Zacchaeus did not bother about that. He happily took Jesus to his house. He overcame the obstacles from the society. He also had the political obstacles. He was a government staff, government tax collector, and he was the head among head of the all the tax collectors. And in order to hold on to this source of transformation, Jesus, he need to leave this tax collectors, this government post. So he just left it out, and he came to Jesus. He overcame this political obstacles, that is his job. He also all had the other obstacles in order to get this source of transformation, in order to be transformed by Jesus. He need to share the possessions, all that he had. He was ready for it. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, Zacchaeus, today he became an example for us to identify the source of transformation that is Jesus. To be transformed by Jesus. To transform oneself and to transform others. He becomes a very good example. Today, are we ready to identify this source of transformation in our life? Are we ready to be transformed by Him? Are we ready to transform others? In our society, there were many people who trans transformed themselves and transformed others. Let us take Abraham Lincoln, Nelson Mandela, APJ Abdul Kalam, and many more in the society. They transformed the society. My brothers and sisters, as Christians, first of all, let us identify the source of transformation that is Jesus. And let us be transformed by him so that our life of darkness may change into life of light our life of sinfulness may change into a life of happiness let us enter into this transformation which is a full communion with god let us enter into this full communion and we will have a happy and blessed Christian life. Let us pray to God that we may identify this source of transformation in order to transform oneself and the others. May God bless you.